What's going on everybody? It's Gone Turbo here. This is Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you a modded setup that I've been using recently that brings a more realistic, natural, and medieval look to your game. And this mod that I wanted to highlight today is Rustic Weathers. Now, I've only done two videos on this mod ever. Uh, Rustic Weathers is by Arendelle. Arendelle is the mod author of some pretty amazing weather and lighting mods such as Surreal Lighting, Mythical Ages, Aquanoctium, Obsidian Weathers and Seasons, and this one, Rustic Weathers and Lighting. I have not played this mod with this mod in a long time, and uh, I'm glad that I, I have revisited it. What this mod essentially does is bring a medieval time... Cut, a medieval kind of look or type of, of, of feel to the game, uh, a little bit more ominous. Um, the I would characterize the color palette as a little bit more of an earth tone kind of thing. At the same time, it is consistent throughout all the regions. It really is a is a an, makes vanilla weathers a lot better with these characteristics. Um, I would also say that in terms of mods that provide a natural look, then this one is one of the best ones out there. I have been playing with, as you know, Obsidian Weathers and Seasons recently and Mythical Ages. This is like neither one of those, but a little bit more, I would say, like Obsidian Weathers and Seasons in that it is more natural. You're not going to get crazy sunsets and, and bloom and, and orange and god rays like crazy and green nights. <laughs> with uh with with rustic weathers you are going to get a a um a very natural very beautiful look to to the game i would say in terms of how it makes your game look at the detail graphic level uh it is better than obsidian weathers and seasons i found obsidian to be a little bit more harsh and because it is pretty bright um the contrast with this looks looks a lot better than uh than obsidian so um, if you're looking for something more natural and realistic, then give this one a try for sure. The settings that I use for this is uh, through Rustic Weathers Presets. Rustic Weathers Presets is a separate mod that can or doesn't have to be used with Rustic Weathers. You can use it for any mod or, or no mod. Uh, but it will adjust some settings that you can also do like in, in display enhancements. So uh, ma uh, settings that might increase contrast a little bit or bloom for a more fantasy look or a little bit more gray for a bleak look. So when you pull up these, these settings, the one that I am using is harsh. That brings a little bit more contrast to the game. Um, there is no bloom also with the harsh setting. It totally eliminates any bloom. I'm not really messing with display enhancements too much. What I have done is increase contrast no more than once. And uh, uh, saturation, I've tried it with a little bit more, but you really don't need any more saturation because, again, going for a little bit more realistic look to the game. I have tried the Fantasy preset, and it adds a lot of bloom to the game. So if you're looking for something with this mod that a little bit more fantasy-like, then, then use that and maybe increase a little saturation. So it is pretty amazing, and uh, I'm going to be playing with it for a little while just to kind of revisit this, this feel to the game. And in this video, you'll see some additional screenshots and some different looks that I've been able to uh, to discover um, or rediscover using this mod. So again, Rustic Weathers. I will say that I am using True Storms with the uh, Desmera patch that keeps the look of the this mod intact, but only adds the True Storms rain textures. Um, along with some of the, of the additional thunder sounds. So this has been Gone Turbo. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.
spare a few coins to help someone who's... Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do?